Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallet. Uh, this is episode 51 of Witcher 3. And here we are in Crookback Bog, and we're following Johnny. We're trying to find out what caused him to lose his voice. that Oh drowners damn it Okay, let us pick up also the uh, two, uh, stay close to me, and uh, did these guys drop any loot? That one did not. Anybody else? Oh yeah, they did, all of them did. Wait, what's the condition of our sword? Uh huh, we've been using it like uh, a lot. 77. And what kind of uh, repair kits do we have for our sword? Oh, we have three left. Oh, 40% of item durability restored. Oh, that is fantastic. Well, this one just does. 15%, 40%. Okay, lead the way, Johnny. This the place? Let me look around. Up there. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? I guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> okay, how do we get up there? Just, just follow the river, right? That would be the easiest place. Nope, not there. And of course, we have to pick up this stuff. Now, where is Johnny? Oh, is that the one? Oh, we got it. Cool. Burn eggs. Harpy. Oh, another one, huh? Come on, Harpy. We want you. Come on, Harpy.
lesser mutagen. Hey, no meat, harpy feathers. Is that it? You know what? Suddenly, uh, oh, I. What's up here? I remember that we already have two mutagens, and so what we can do is, uh, we if we have three. Well, now that we have three, we can combine them. Okay, let's do that. So let's go back to our character menu and uh, remove this, right? No, no, let's go here and use this. What's this? Wraith Mutagen. What's this? Oh, 5% sign intensity. Let's put this here. Now that we have three mutagens, is then we can go to the alchemy side. And here we can all parts are present, so we can make a bigger one. And then let's see when we install the bigger one. Previously it was giving us like 15%, right? Now let's say assuming we so it's that is seven and we put it there. 21% so our Igni is much much more powerful now Wow okay uh, wait hold on see this one how come we don't have we don't have the ability to combine those those are the red ones right I thought there were red ones yeah so there are smaller greens, but they don't allow us to have. Oh, they're not. Maybe we have not discovered. That's a red mutagen. And what is the color of this one? What kind of mutagens are they? Okay, let's check. Oh, it's a relic. Oh, but they're all relics. So that's green. So we we have oh. So we were able to do the green, but we can't do the red. I I don't know. Is that red? Wraith. So we never found the. Uh, I guess we never found the. Okay, on, on this side, see, the, are, these are the things that we can do. So how about this? Adrenaline points increases both weapon damage and sign intensity. Wow, that would be good if we can, if we can put it in this slot over here. But then on the, how about on the, so the next level, oh, we have to unlock three more. Additional points in branch need to be unlocked. So that means something like this. Strength training, strong attack. Arrow deflection. Deflect arrows while parrying. That might make sense. Uh, time slowed by additional 50 while aiming the crossbow. Okay, that makes sense too. Uh... This might actually make more sense uh, because uh, this one we already are our basis for the way we fight is based on uh, what do you call this in uh, is in terms of fleetness quickness so this might be better resolve adrenaline points loss upon taking damage is lowered by 20% because we, I have, I have terrible uh, reflexes. So when we're aiming the crossbow, we might need that extra time. So I, I don't know. I don't know. And then over here, again. So what's the next level? Adrenaline sign mode it, it emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. Hey, that is not bad actually. So we can make, 
but it needs how many more? Oh, another point to unlock. And how about this is explosive exploding shield. This is increases side duration by five seconds. And this is uh oh this is the art sign. This is the how about here? What happens on the next one? Targeted enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 20% more damage. Hey, this is actually very good. Instead of using the fire. Right? So next level, target does not move towards Ger Geralt while he is casting Axie. Increases the effectiveness of Axie in dialogues. Reduces Axie casting time. Failed Axie attempts stagger the target wow this is not bad stamina regeneration 1.5 i think we'll take this one and we can now do this alternative alternate targeted enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 20 percent more damage this is good better than igni right Oh, wow. Okay, so if we learn this sign and we can attach it up here, I wonder. Uh huh, puppet. That will change the way we fight. This is excellent. Let's try this. Okay. Advanced signs. To cast a sign in its alternative mode, hold R2. Hold R2. Ah. Oh, I see. So we do not attach this, right? Or can we attach this? <sighs> Stamina regen, regen is uh, reduced axis. Target does not move towards. Increases effectiveness axis in dialogues. Reduces axis casting time. I see. Okay. So if we want to cast. Where's Axie? Axie? So hard R2. So what does that do? Ah. Wait, how do we do that? Hold on, hold on. You know, we uh, we might think that we are actually doing um, uh, hold R two. I don't understand this. Anyway, uh, let's try it in a single combat rather than let's still stick to Igni and let's see if we are missing anything here. No, uh, might be a good idea to eat something. Oh, this is the bird nest. Seal bottle, raven feather. This bottle. Okay, guess. Guess that's the bottle that we need. And 
Where is our good friend Johnny? Excuse me. Wow, so talk to Johnny. Here. Ah, that's his voice then. <laughs> Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? <laughs> Let's find out. What did your... How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Oh. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? That bird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. How do you bottle someone's How do you voice? lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like <laughs> a bowl of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. Yeah. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Whoa. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my mourn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. So she went off towards the village. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Okay, we're going with you. Oh, he's walking. <laughs> we need to run, boy. back to Igni. Let's try this. Axie, right? Let's go back to Igni. Wow! He's, the guy's waterproof. Whoa! Ouch! I'm 
guy is waterproof. Oh, fireproof, rather. Give us something, please. What? Except for the big guy, we got nothing? Oh, over here, what's this? Oh, the same thing that we couldn't get at. Okay. Boy, that uh, thing is not healing us as it should. We're no longer in battle, but we're not being healed. Okay, Johnny. Show the way. Youch, we cannot... New marker, Orphans of Black Bob. Oh, okay. Now we can travel here if we need to. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Ha! But Spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, you got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. It is not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, <laughs> even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. <laughs> ladies lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Oh, this is magic. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I wanted to talk to you. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? 
Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. Just like a daughter to me. A young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. What happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Of course not. Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Downwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herd maid. Dark wow. power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Downwarren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now, our servant will bring you the dagger. Why do I need a dagger? A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. Okay, it's a deal. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Wow. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Oh, it's even got poetry. Okay, thank you guys for joining me. It's time to cut the episode right here. And I hope you'll join me in the next episode. This is getting really interesting. Bye!